to get asked if I do HF antennas, uh, which I don't. Um, but I've been thinking lately, and I've realised that a lot of communications receivers these days go all the way down to uh, 100 kilohertz, which covers the HF bands. But uh, with a lot of them, you only get one antenna uh, output. Uh, the DV1 is a prime example where you get one antenna output, which is in fact um, BNC. So I've come up with this uh, little little idea. Uh, what you see there is a uh, is a BNC connector, uh, and inside the tube is uh, it's connected to a long wire. In fact, it's not a long wire at the moment. It's just a, it's just about uh, six foot of uh, of wire. Uh, I just thought I'd give it a go, and these are the results at the moment. I've got my radio on Shannon Vormit, and I'm using uh, say it's G5 RV, but it's not the G5 RV. It's actually a doublet in the garden. Now if I switch over to this uh, wee bit of wire, you can see that it's, it's giving me, uh, still giving me Shannon Vormit. Now this is going to be a great idea for people who use um, a DV1 or a TRX 2s uh, or, or any scanner really that goes all the way down uh, to the HF bands because the, the white poles you use at the moment for HF, uh, well the white poles you use are no good for HF, they're only VHF, UHF. So I'm going to be making these in the next, uh, in the next few weeks. Um, they won't be very dear and they will come with, uh, I'm not sure yet, probably about 20 metres, between 10 and 20 metres of, of wire. So it'll just be a matter of plugging them in to your scanner uh, when you want to use V8, when you want to use HF. Plug it into the back of the scanner as normal and then uh, and then go down the band and, and use uh, HF. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, happy scanning.